Hi! Hope everybody's doing well. Hi everyone! Hello. Oh. I literally just went to the store to get stuff to make this, to do this live. Alright. Alright. So, hi. So Nancy was supposed to be here. Uh, she decided, well, not decided. They asked her to do a double ship today. She was supposed to be off before today, and she's not. So she said, "Can you take care of the lab?" I said, "Yep, got it." <laughs> so guess what? We're, we're we're gonna try to make nacho cheese sauce. So she took my phone because she forgot her phone. So I'm using her phone today. So hi Hannah. Hi sweetie. Hi, Cookie Lisa. Hi, Luca dear. So, Chris Dang, how you doing, Yami? Hi. All right. So this is hi, what this is. Oh, hi. So this is what I have. Let me turn this a little bit. Right there. there Deck was in rush hour. Deck was what? In rush hour. He's energetic. He's energetic. All right. So I have my saucepan. Well, I guess you call it just a pot. I got two different types of cheese. I think I'm going to try the the medium cheddar. Or maybe I should do... It says 8 ounces. So this is 16 ounces. So just a, a quarter and a quarter, which would be 8 ounces. Because they say 8 ounces. Now, this is the recipe I'm going by. So 8 ounces of cheese. 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. A tablespoon of batar. Butter. Hi, Joanna. Okay. And so I got two different types of milk. And you want to buy milk? I, I wasn't sure exactly which one. I, I I think the last time I tried this, I tried um, what's that milk that we usually get? Almond milk. Almond milk. I tried almond milk before. I don't think it really should matter. I think it's just the process of how you make it. So I guess you got something different. So I got 2%. I, Yami, I can't remember which one we used the last time, but I know we did not use this one. We did not use whole milk the last time. Whole regular milk. Is my butt turned it on again? <laughs> it kind of did. I turned, I pressed I just, off. I, I, I really don't like this oven. <sighs> you guys know the history of this oven. Mm. All right, so we'll try whole milk. Okay, so let's please put this away. Okay, I'll make a milkshake with this later. And guess what? So I went to uh, Walmart. Walmart grocery store. It's not a typical Walmart whole thing, shebang, selling TVs and stuff like that. No, just a grocery Walmart. We had egg dog. <gasps> I've never tried this brand before, but they had eggnog. I was like... Yeah. Well dang them. Especially when Nancy gets home. Because oh. then I can put something special, special in it. Oh my you, god. You know that. what I mean. Yes, I'm eating I'm eating cake. Don't mind me. You're eating cake? I'm hungry. You're hungry, she's hungry. Alright, so it is Christmas already. <laughs> it's all hey, it's noon somewhere, right? At least that's what I say. All right, so love eggnog. Dean and Donna says yes. Same. Love. Lisa, love eggnog. Ah, oh, I don't know what it is today. A lot of kids don't like eggnog, except for this one. Mhm. Mm she likes eggnog. I love eggnog. She doesn't like her fruit though. <laughs> so, all right. So let me get my whisk. Where's my whisk? I got my whisk. Okay. So I've watched numerous videos. Okay, I've what I looked at numerous recipes. Yeah, that what are you what are you eating? She's eating nothing. <laughs> Can you make you want some cake? <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let me see. Because you're not. Wait, hold on. You're not doing it right. Hold on. Hold on. Want some cake? Let go. <laughs> Five, four. Okay. Thank you. That's what she's eating. She's eating nothing. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to show them. Here's some right. cake for you guys. Okay, so but before nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. before <laughs> I get started, I need to grate the cheese. So <laughs> let me get my knife. Okay. 
yeah, it's that kind of knife. <laughs> Don't point it at me! I'm not pointing it at you, I'm just, I'm just playing. Alright, just be careful around me while I'm doing this. Okay, so yeah, cut this open. So, eight ounces. So I just gotta, so if I'm just gonna use this one, which I think is fine, I think this is fine. Uh, I really don't care. I just want it to work. I'm tired of getting the gritty stuff. I don't want gritty cheese sauce. I want some good stuff. Um, can you have me a paper towel, honey? Please. Thank you. I'm not sure how much you, how many you want. No, that's fine. That's perfect. I'm not going to need this. Let me put that away. Put this over here. You're going to read all the comments and all that stuff, right? While I'm doing mm -hmm. this. Okay. All right. All right, boys and girls, be careful because this thing will bite you. <laughs> if it doesn't work, next step might be Velveeta. I was th I saw somebody use Velveeta. I saw somebody use Velveeta, but that's, isn't that kind of cheating though? Isn't that cheating? I, I, I want to be able to make something from scratch and it actually work. And, and, and you know what really makes me mad? Is all those YouTubers are like, making nacho cheese sauce is so easy. Anybody can do it. Kiss my ass. Sorry. <laughs> Kiss my booty. Sorry, I, 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 I I don't like it when someone says it's so easy because they've done it like a million times. It drives me nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Language for Kyle. I know. <laughs> There's a family friendly channel. It is a family friendly channel, but I took but I put down it not meant for 18 and younger. <laughs> that means you. Alright, so we're gonna grade half of this and then we'll get started. Mm -hmm. It is full lies. But in that said that the internet is full of lies. The internet is full of lies! The internet lied to me! Oh, did you hear what happened today? What? I don't know if you guys have been fault. Uh, well, I don't know if it happened today, but it's happened within the past week. Apparently, I barely watched the news. Apparently, so. they fa they uh, they arrested somebody for the murder of Tupac. Tupac was murdered back in 1996, and they finally just uh, charged somebody for his murder. It took them that long. Yeah, because they couldn't find the person who did it. I saw that on a TikTok today. I was like, whoa, no way, that's, that's big news. I don't know why it's not all over the place. I mean, that's huge. I mean, a 30 year murder and they finally charged somebody. They haven't convicted him yet, but they charged him. God, this is good. Is it good? It's got caramel on it. It's got caramel on it? Mm-hmm. Mm. I like the lemon one. Lemon's my favorite. Of course it's your favorite. Of course it's my favorite. Almost done. It did took them really long. Trish says, really? No way. Yeah. Look it up. I, I think Me too, just, Piper. You could probably just go on X, Twitter, and, and type in uh, Tupac. I don't really It'll watch. Probably come up. You probably you find, find it on... Um... I don't really watch the news, so... Well, I, we know you don't watch the news. I it's am boring. Your what do you mean it's boring? You watch the news like every day. Well, the real thing is, which news can you trust? Mm -hmm. e exactly. Nobody knows. Nobody knows who you can trust anymore. It's hard. It's hard to trust news. Nowadays. I have trust issues. A lot of people do. All right. All right. So the first thing. What happened, Yummy? Hey, I'm talking. I'm talking to you. Sorry. Nice, yummy! 
Congrats, Yami. Yami got a job at Nothing Fun Cakes. Oh, nice. Can you send us a free package? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. But that would be cool, though. Yeah. Okay, so we need to tur turn this on to medium heat. Okay, they got to be able to see what I'm doing, honey. Um, I'm not sure who Diane is. No more Home Depot for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, she works. She, she works for Home Depot. Oh, I remember you telling me about. No, now I remember. You were saying that you were asking for the position to be a the the baker that starts at like four or five a.m. and you get off around noon. Is that the position that you got? Okay, so we're gonna go to small, medium. Okay, so we're gonna put this on medium heat. Is that right? Is that is that a good temperature, guys? Put the, the pan on medium, or should I put it on medium-high to start with? I think medium. A medium. 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 Efferson says medium. How do you hold her quickly? Ask you, medium. Medium, 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 medium high to melting the butter. That is a good medium point. high. Medium sounds good. Okay, so I'll put it on. That is very true to melt I'll, the butter. I'll put it on six. Okay. All right, so we're going to melt the butter. Low? How did Neko said to put it on low? On low? <laughs> She also said JK. Just kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> Your little tease. Your if this little... doesn't work, it's all our faults. <laughs> I'm letting everybody know now. If this doesn't work, it's everybody's fault. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're basically blaming everyone on the live chat. <laughs> Pretty much. Dad! Okay, so we want to get the, the butter completely melted, and then, and, and see, and, and I was watching all, all the, hold on, hold on, I was watching all of the, the videos that I've seen on YouTube about people making nacho cheese, and they just add the ingredients. They don't do it slowly, they don't do it gradually, they don't put it in like, like a quarter and then mix it for a minute. They just put the entire thing in, and they mix it, wait for it to come to a bubble. Luca dear, first of all, really. And okay. Kingdom Mickey, to answer your question, yes, it's boring. Okay, so that is fully melted. So we have a tea, two teaspoons of butter and two teaspoons of flour. Now, from what I've heard, is that you need to let it completely. Uh, cook the um, the flour within the butter, so it gets it gets it that takes away the the flour taste. And I think that may have been our problem before is not allowing the flour to fully cook and bind itself to the butter, and that possibly might be why it's gritty. I, I'm trying, trying to understand the science behind it. But I'm going to keep stirring it for about two minutes. I mean, it looks pretty good. When I saw somebody else's video, the, it, it was kind of like a brownish color. Not quite brown yet. And this is a salted butter. It's not unsalted. I'm not that smart. I'm actually not that smart, actually. 
Um, oh crap, I didn't get the, uh, Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Yeah? I didn't get the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the milk ready. Uh, right here. Mm. <laughs> Two cups. Quick. Two cups? This one. This one. Two cups. How much is two cups? Two cups, right there. Oh, I can't read. I know you can't read. It's okay. <laughs> You're learning. Okay, so I'm looking at the the mixture in the pan. Fiddle stacks. It's okay. It's okay. Just get it up to two two, uh, two cups. It it is two cups, right? I'm not wrong on this. I love being not wrong. I spilled milk. Am I wrong on two cups? I hope I'm not. If you are wrong, oh well. No, if it, it is it supposed to be two cups or is it one cup? That's a lot of milk. See, now we're like a brownish color. I think this is good. It should be two. It should be two. Okay, all right, so we've got two cups. Now, it's a lot of milk. It is a lot of milk. I'm going to bring the, bring the temperature down a little bit. Honey, Now, I've, like I said, I've seen everybody do this, and they just put it together. When do we have to choose? Hmm? When do we have to choose? Um, after it incorporates. So, ah. so, let me see the phone. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. So now what I'm thinking is that you can actually see the the mixture of the butter. I think once that fully incorporates with the milk is when it's done. If I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong. But I think that's right. I hope you're right. I hope I'm right too. We're going to end up doing this again. And it'll be a pretty long life. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe I was wrong for a quick, I think I just need to be about a medium. So I'm going to put it to a four. I've never made cheese sauce before. I've tried and failed every single time. I remember you made one cheese sauce, but mom didn't like it. So what I've seen is when they say it starts to boil around the edges that's when you add the cheese then let them melt more it's your fault if you are wrong it, you're right i it is my fault if i'm wrong Demi. <laughs> what Demi said that Oh, no, it's okay. It's your fault if you're wrong, said Demi. It's it's your fault too. Because you've been telling me, medium. Two cups. <laughs> butter. <laughs> okay, I'm letting this incorporate. I'm waiting for it to start bubbling on the side and I'm not and I'm not gonna add all the cheese all at the same time. I'm gonna gradually add it all together. She's kidding. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Daddy had the cute whiskey. Mm-hmm. I know. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> hey that's what Tammy said. Okay. I'm just reading the comments. You're reading the comments? I'm not telling you what to do. They're telling you what to do. Well, if I keep whisking, it's never going to boil. So that's why I need to to whisk and then stop. Whisk and then stop. So that way I can see if it if, it, if it's going to boil. The monster is mango local. That said, it's really good. It's really good. I love the mango one. Well, can all you say bye to the baby from home to stay? Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, baby and Jane. 
Alright. How's this look? You guys tell me. How's this look? Look okay. at here. It says with for 30 seconds and then stop for 30 seconds and repeat. How's that look? I think it looks pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Cool. Okay. Put you back up here. All right. How's the consistency? I don't know. <laughs> you think I am a chef? <laughs> Maybe. You cook a lot? I do. I do cook a lot. You cook a lot on the live streams. Thank you. I like to cook. Okay. I, I, I think this is good. I think it's good. Okay. So I'm going to start adding the cheese. I'm going to do half of the cheese. Let it fully incorporate. I'm going to lower the temperature down a little bit. So it doesn't overcook? Wait, it adds it slowly. Reduce the heat, yeah. That's what they said? Reduce the heat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I reduce it to like a, qu uh, like a quarter? Like, like a two? Do I hear a key? Yami said... What recipe are you using? If it's our recipe, she says to put one cup of milk. One cup. Oh, I already added two. What recipe are you using, Makaya? The one we did last time said one cup of milk. You may need to add more cheese if the milk is too much and it hasn't gone gritty. Okay, gonna add some more cheese. So that's a lot of cheese. Hmm. No, that's a lot of milk. And see, see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the sides as I'm as I'm doing it, and I can see the grittiness. I so, need a pee. Go ahead, go pee. See, it's, it's all gritty. That's what I'm trying to prevent. I'm trying to prevent the grittiness. How do I do that? I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to keep adding. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the cheese. I saw somebody also use half and half. I'm like, what? Half and half. I don't know if that would work. Take, take milk off heat. Too much heat might cause the scrambled egg effect. Let's see, too much heat. I'll take it off the heat then. I'll take it off and now I'm just going to mix it. Yeah, see this is what's happening to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, see how it's all gritty? That's what I'm trying to prevent. It's not it's like it's not binding together I don't get it I don't get it they say this is supposed to be easy to do the milk broke okay because it's too hot curd milk yes snake Yep, milk curds. Curded. The milk curded. Does that mean I, I, I did it too hot? The milk unfortunately separated. Is there any way to fix it or is it just done? Yep, too much heat. Okay. Well, 
I'm gonna have to try again. The thing is, I don't know if I have enough milk. Well, how much milk do I have? <sighs> this is frustrating. So frustrating. Okay, I got two cups. So I gotta do it slower. Okay, one cup milk instead of two then. Can somebody look up a recipe to see if that's right? Is it one cup? Because it, I think this would bind, this would do good if God, that's so frustrating that it, that it didn't. Oh, it's so easy to do. No, it's not. It's not easy. Especially if you've never done it before. I hate it when people do that. No, oh, it's so easy to do. It's not easy. If you don't know, if you've never seen it done, the recipe we used last time was two tablespoons, each butter and milk, one and, uh, two tablespoons each of butter and flour, which is I did. Okay, and then one cup of milk. Okay, so maybe if I use too much. So, do you have a double boiler? What the, I don't know what that is. <sighs> if that doesn't work, keep the sauce off the heat and grab some flour adding to a small spoonful of flour to thicken and bond the separated sauce hi misty use cornstarch did you guys move to the states yes we did move to the states we've been here for almost a year actually been a year it didn't work it didn't work nope Oh no! It's okay. You're so gritty. Yeah, it, it's. It did not work. More than like a million time. I've tried this like four different times. All right. Slowly. What should? Okay, so this time, I, I think what I did with the 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 butter. And the flour was right. I don't have cornstarch, so I, I, I can't do that. Okay, so I'll do, melt the butter, add the flour, get it the consistency, like right when it starts to brown, I'll really reduce the, the heat to probably about like a two. Okay, and then add the milk. Because when I added the milk, the it really like it 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 sizzled at the bottom of the pan. So I don't think that was right. I think that was an indication right away that it was too hot. And I was, and that actually kind of made me nervous when that happened. Too much milk on the heat too long. Try adding the milk slower too, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I can try it. Okay, honey. Bye. Bye, peeps. I'll be watching you live in my room. Okay. Man, that's so annoying. It's not annoying. It's frustrating. And it didn't work. Okay. All right. So let me clean this, this pot again. If you guys are saying anything about the recipe, I'm not seeing it because I can't see it. So give me a second. There's my, uh... There's... So what have we been saying? Yes, melt butter at lower heat. 
So the pan is too hot for the milk. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna melt the the butter at a two. Okay. Okay. Let me get the flour. tablespoons of flour. We should, uh, you could do those lives where it's like um, you're, you're live with somebody. It's a new feature that they added probably about two months ago. We've never done it yet. But if I could get like a chef on here and show and teach me how to do it live, that'd be cool. I can do it. Hey, maybe I should call my sister. I only have one phone. Uh, I have I have Sophie's phone, but it's okay. All right, so I gotta grate the cheese again. <sighs> so frustrating. It's all gr gritty. Man, I think I have another whisk. Yep. I have a clean whisk. All right. All right. So we'll grate the other half of this cheese, or should I? Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll do this one. I want, I want to, I'm just frustrated. It's so frustrating. All right. From what I saw, you make, you make the butter flour mix, add mix, boil, then immediately take off the heat and add the cheese. Don't know if that helps. Well, I've, I've heard that too, but if, if I'm, Adding the milk at too high of a temperature, and what people are saying is that the butter separated and it curd. I mean, that makes sense. So, lower temperature. Yeah, lower temperature. Melting the butter, adding the flour. Do it slow. Best case, take it low and slow, says Dana Deer. Okay. We'll take it low and slow, and we'll see what happens. If it just doesn't work, then it just doesn't work. Can you add the flour later? Melt the cheese first. I've never heard anybody do it like that before. But, I mean, if this doesn't work, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll try anything. I might try that half and half first. I don't know. We'll see. Man, it's been 33 minutes already? All right. But, yeah, it's okay. But you know what will happen when we're done and I finally figure this out? Then I'll be able to make a video on how to do it correctly with good instructions so people will know how to do it the first time and not be told by somebody, oh, it's so easy to do. Eventually, I'll get it. I look at this as like uh, like changing the oil in the car. It's so easy to do, but if you've never done it before, it can be kind of frustrating, and you make mistakes on the on the way on the way there of, of completing everything. You, you forget the washer. You don't drain the oil right. Maybe you forget the filter. Maybe you get the wrong size filter, but you took the old one off already. Yeah. Frustrating. But anyway, are you using mild cheddar cheese? Yes, medium cheddar. That's what I was told. I was told to use medium cheddar. Don't use sharp cheddar. Something with it that it doesn't work right. It's all a learning experience. Yep, yep, Dana dear, it is. 
It's all a learning experience. Almost done grating the cheese. And I noticed that as soon as I put the cheese in the last time, it melted really, really fast. So that also tells me that it was too hot. Sophie, can you come help Grandma? You ever grazed your knuckles on the grater? I've done that like I think maybe twice. Was that grandma? I don't know. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of boxes to do today, grandma. Uh, we have one more. Did you get? Did you do the big box? Did grandma do the big box that was in there? Go check to see if the box is in there. It's really katai, but it, it, it should be okay. Alright, so that's how much cheese I grated. <clears throat> that's the second half. Okay. Alright. Okay, go ahead, give it to Grandma. Grandma's eyes are really hurting today. Oh. All right. All right. Yes, zip it there. All right. So first thing first, let's turn the heat back on. All right. So we're going to do it out of two. Cut two. All right. Take two, guys. Wish me luck. All right. Let's try this again. Let's see what happens. this doesn't work it doesn't work we just get to try it again but not today this will be the last one that we're gonna try all right get the whisk go ahead and melt a bit there all okay I got it just above a two in between two and four so it's a about a three so, Cheesy Quest 2, right? It should be okay. I hope so. I hope so. I want this to work. I want it to work. So. There's a lot of science in this, trying to figure out how it all works. And I didn't even think about, how, about the, uh, the milk separating. So, if you're just joined us on the live, we already made attempt one of making the cheese sauce and it did not work. It curded together and it's really grainy, disgusting. It probably tastes good. Oh, but you know what I didn't put? I didn't put in cayenne pepper on the last one, but that's okay. I can always put a hot sauce in it later. You can do this, Dad. Thank you, honey. All right. Butter's almost melted. We are almost there. Yeah, it's going much slower this time. I hope it's not too low that the flour doesn't cook. I hope it's not too low. All right, so butter is melted. Nice evening at home yet? Not yet, Grandma. She's doing a double today. Oh. Yeah. All right. 
It's not sizzling like it was the last time. I, 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 want, I feel like I, I want to uh, turn up the heat. Let me show you guys. I feel like I want to turn it up, but I'm not sure. This is what I have so far. It's barely doing anything. I guess it, I guess it is sizzling a little bit. So I guess I'll just give it some time. Let's see what happens. Okay, Flow Flow says it will cook the flour. Just keep it low. Okay, I will keep it low. I will keep it low. There you go. All right. We have faith. We have faith that this is going to work. This has got to work. But it's okay if it doesn't. It's okay if it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, we just try something else. I'll watch this video on my own, see how I did it, and then adjust, make some changes. Oh yeah, that looks, it, it looks better now, now, now that I'm doing it slow. So I, I think this is it. My question is, how do I know when to add the milk? It's been about two minutes since I started. No, no, it's been more than that. It's probably been closer to three. So I, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the milk a little bit. Add it slowly. Really creamy doing it this way. And I'm doing two two cups again, not one. I'm doing two. Is that right? That's a lot of dairy. I would start with half and add cheese. Okay. So I have, so that was one cup. This is one cup. So I just gotta wait for it to incorporate. Right now it's kind of in chunks everywhere. But it's slowly breaking up and as it's heating up, it's, it's breaking up and it's combining with the rest of the milk. I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> So it's okay if I add milk later on, if it's not runny enough, or do I have to add it all up at the beginning? Yes, one cup of milk, add the cheese, then if too thick, you can add more milk. Okay. Alright. Right at level two on the heat. And I'm looking at it, it still looks kind of chunky a little bit, so it's, I don't think it's uh, combined quite yet. I'm looking for your guys' comments. If you think I should add the cheese now, say it. what it kind of looks like now. I think that looks pretty good, actually. 
take it off the heat. Okay, okay go ahead and add the, uh, the cheese. Yes, take it off the heat. Okay, it's off the heat. Should I add the cheese now? You guys haven't said anything yet. Keep stirring. It looks good. Yep, okay. Stir in a bit of the, and add the cheese, okay. Add cheese slowly. Okay. But want the cheese cool it down and then it won't melt as much as before. Add the cheese a little bit at a time. It's getting there. I think it's gonna cool it down. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on. I'm just not gonna have it on. I'm gonna keep the heat on. That way if I need to put it back on the heat, I can. The mix will melt, okay. Cause it doesn't look like it's melting. <laughs> Put on the heat to melt. I think what I'll do is I'll put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. Okay, now it's starting to melt, but it's really thick. And I haven't even added all the cheese. I still have all this cheese left to go. This was eight ounces of, of medium cheddar. Add cheese slowly. Yep, I'm doing it slowly, Donna. Add less cheese at a time. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Thick is good. You add cheese, then add milk. Okay. <clears throat> what I don't want to do is stop, stop stirring it. So I know you guys can't see me. <laughs> but so far, so far it actually looks pretty good. Did I miss it? Tab, I need to come to your house and do this sometime. The first time I did it, it messed up. I didn't do it right. I, I think I had it too hot. This time I'm doing it a lot low, low heat. But, okay, so adding a little bit more cheese. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. I'm trying to make nacho cheese sauce. So if you guys didn't know, that's what I'm trying to make. Now it's just cheese sauce. If I want to make nacho cheese sauce, I need to add a little bit of pepper, so I might add a little bit of pepper to it. Yes, you have to, what? You have to make it here. Okay. Now that's what we'll do. Have your kitchen ready next Saturday. <laughs> and we'll do it there. If this doesn't work, we'll do it there. But if this is worse, then we'll do something else. You know what we could make, Tab? We could make your cranberry sauce. Your holiday sauce. We could 
do that. I know, I, actually, I know uh, Nancy knows how to make it really well, too, because she, she took your recipe and, and, and did it, and it came out so good. It tasted exactly like it. So maybe if Nancy has it off next week, maybe you guys can do it together. Ooh, look at that. How's that looking? I'm trying to get... <sighs> I'm going to add a little bit of milk to it. It's, it's too thick. Just a little bit. <laughs> yes, we have to make the cranberry sauce. Yes, oh my god, it looks... Looks so tasty now. It looks much different than the last time, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna keep adding the cheese. Put it back on the heat for a second. My hand's starting to cramp. <laughs> It's okay. <clears throat> some people would consider this an art, and some people say art is pain. So, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, you know what? Temperature is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. 122. That seems a little cold. come up too high. I definitely don't want it to come up to a boil, which is way too high. Okay. Add a little bit more milk. I think taking it the slow way was the best way. I need to add some zing to it, so if this works, I like my my cheese sauce to have a little bit of spice to it. That looks so much better than the last time. Guys, so much better. 147. Okay, I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna add the rest of the cheese. That's the end. That's the rest of the cheese. Keep an eye on the temperature. Definitely gonna need more milk. I mean, it looks nice and cheesy, but I don't think it's, it's still not the right consistency. It's more thick and stringy than creamy and, and, and than creamy. It should be 
a creamy mixture, not a stringy mixture. Right now it's stringy. What's our temperature? 132. Let's go ahead and bring it back up a little bit. Hi, Kachan. <laughs> they're, they're waiting for dinner, so as soon as I'm done with the live today, I gotta feed the kitties. I gotta make grandma some dinner. this works. I mean it looks like it's working but I want to make sure it works. Add a little bit of chili powder to it. Just a little bit. Let's pull it off. I know the cheapest way and easy, well not the cheapest, but the easiest way to make, make cheese sauce is the pre, <laughs> the Velveeta, the Velveeta cheese. But that stuff is processed. I don't like it. I mean, I, I don't mind it. It tastes really, really good, but I want to learn how to make it on my own. So that's why I'm trying it this way. getting nervous. I don't know if I should add more milk to it. It's nice and stringy. It's got a nice stringy effect to it, but you see all that? It looks like it broke again. Should I put it back on the heat a little bit more? Right now we're at 131. You say it looks good? That looks good. Here. Doesn't look good to me. It's not what I'm looking for. See that? It's still chunky. The consistency looks good. I don't know. I'm afraid of 
afraid to put it back on the heat. It's it's hot enough to to melt the cheese. That's for sure. So that shouldn't be the problem. But it's not like it was earlier. And it looks like it broke. So before uh, I would pick it up and it would just automatically fall. Now it's not falling anymore. So I'm going to consider this a failure. Taste it? Oh, I'm going to taste it. But it's it, that's a failure to me. It's not right. Yeah, that's it's not the right consistency, which means I either put too much heat, and I kept it between a 130 and a 140. Maybe I need to keep it between a 120 and a 130, not so high. Hmm. Interesting. I'm telling you, this is a science. All right. We will taste it though. Try it again. You may have to, you may have over, Katie says you may have over stirred it. It's possible, but uh, I mean, how do you know when to stop? That's the frustrating part is, how do you know when to stop? I mean, it looks good. From right here, it looks good. But as soon as I do anything to it, it's probably not going to be good. All right, got our tater chip. this around for you guys. Can you guys see that? Right now it looks fun. You see that? The consistency, oh you guys can't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just doesn't seem, I don't know. Nope. Nope, don't like it. I don't like that at all. It tastes very gritty. Damn it. This is hard. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like... I don't know what it tastes like, but it doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste like uh, like nacho cheese. It doesn't taste like nacho cheese. Maybe they cheat. <laughs> Maybe the secret is Velveeta. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It just look at it. It's gritty. It's so frustrating. It's just cheese. Yeah, it's just cheese, and it's hard to do. All right, guys. Oh, well. Slow and low heat. That's what I did. I did slow and low. Looks yummy, though. I mean, it's starting to grow on me. I keep eating it. It's not bad. Huh. Sophie, you gonna come down and try it? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Is this the best it can get? Yes, if it's edible, it's good. Yeah, that's true. You could be cooking it too long. Yeah, I could. I'm, I'm waiting for it to all combine. So if that's a, and that's why it took me so long. It's because 
I wanted to do it slow, add the milk slow, add the cheese slow, take it off the heat. If it gets in too cold, put it back on the heat. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Tab, I need your help. <laughs> I know my sister Tab knows how to make it. At least I hope she does. Oh. And I use good cheese. I know this is good cheese. This is telling me. You have to use real cheese. I did. I didn't use Dolvia cheese. I used Tillamook. Tillamook medium cheddar. That's what I used. And I used whole milk. I didn't use 2%, 1%. I didn't use half and half. I used real milk. I used real cheese. That's what Cam 24 said to you. You have to use the real cheese with Velveeta cheese. I have to use Velveeta cheese? Is that what you're saying? Tab? You're saying I have to use Velveeta cheese? I've never made a cheese sauce, Chris. I just like Tillamook cheese, but Tillamook is so good. So I have to use the other cheese. If you don't succeed the first time, keep trying again until you get it right. Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I just keep failing. Okay. Once you heat to the melting cheese point, Christian says, once you heat to that melting cheese point, take it off the heat and stop steering. Stop steering. I, but if, but if it's not uh, incorporated, I have to keep stirring. Yes, you have to. Really? Okay. But I see so many uh, videos on YouTube where people just use regular cheese, regular milk, or half and half, and it comes out great. So, what am I doing wrong? I, I just don't get it. Ask your Alexa how to mix broken cheese on. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys. I've been on here for 68 minutes. I got to make dinner for Grandma. Yes, you have to use real cheese with Velve With Velveeta cheese. I stop the video and then add the Velveeta and start recording again. <laughs> all right all right but anyway thanks for joining me on this failure it didn't come out the way i wanted nope a big old glob of failure all right guys <sighs> make it <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you guys later i am tired now that wore me out. <laughs> An hour of, of non-stop and my, and my arm is sore. All right, guys. Love you guys. Please be safe. Take care of each other. And I will see you guys in the next live, which will be Tuesday. And maybe next Saturday I will be at my sister's house to make the Velveeta again. It depends. If no one's here to take care of Grandma, then I won't be able to. But if there's someone here to take care of Grandma, then I will go over there. All right. I, yes, I will tell Nancy you said hi. All right. Love you guys. Bye.